Okay, we are picking up the American car. Yes, we are. I'm very excited, very nervous. We're in the truck with the trailer because we cannot legally drive this on the road for a while. No way. It's going to take a lot of work. I'll get to that. I've just seen it. I don't know if I'm allowed to show in here yet, so I'm going to ask permission first. Oh, my God. So, I've not actually had a proper look at it yet. I'm just kind of like... Resisting the urge. I'm probably going to in a second. It looks better than I thought. It's probably the way I'd say. I was so just far. telling him that he should keep the orange wheels. Just like, <laughs> get them refurbished, but keep them. It's so weird seeing one. Ship my car. I'm not saying shit, I'm saying ship. <laughs> um, they're really nice to help me with the trailer because I've never done it before. Okay. <laughs> so we are uh, at the side of the road. This is exciting, I know. You want to know about the clips, I do too, but I think the gearbox in the Ranger is uh, overheating. It's really, really struggling up these hills here. We're also towing the, the Eclipse. I've... Man, I think it's the gearbox. I really hope it's the gearbox. We'll find out, but we're gonna wait for a bit and then give it another go. I think we're through most of the hills now, hopefully. One of the first things you'll notice is the exhaust actually comes out the side. I've not started it yet. Apparently it's very loud. Your dad said it's mega, mega, mega loud. Insanely loud. Which, again, I've never had an exhaust come out the bloody bumper on the very front of the, the car, so um, we'll see. I can't, I can't wait to get cracking on this thing. This is the interior, very quickly. The door cards, we do have some. They're in the back. They know what they're like. Uh, seats. I think that rail doesn't actually, uh, <laughs> I don't think it locks, so uh, that's that's one thing. Sunroof doesn't close. Yeah, we've got a bit of a bit of a job on our hands, but this is going to be super fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's beautiful. Isn't she? She's stunning. Needs an exhaust out the back, though. The, the, this bumper thing is silly. <laughs> we are moving again. Seems a little bit better. <laughs> Oh, the window, yeah, the window's broken. It's fine, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. You seems a little bit better now? Yeah, yeah, she seems okay now. So, yeah, I, I had a quick look. It's definitely just the gearbox overheating. Uh, it was really hilly there. Yeah. But that's an issue, Ranger. <laughs> like, literally. Come on. What the heck? What do you think? No. <laughs> oh, God. It looks great. Also, the battery is actually plugged in down there. Yeah, loose. <laughs> Save sure. the eclipse. <laughs> this one needs saving. Yes. <laughs> I quite like the dashboard, though. That's it's my nice shape. Nice. Nice shape. So, we just dropped by to, to show Dale. This heap is going to be living at the unit for a while. <laughs> for a while, doesn't like... <laughs> <laughs> for a while. <laughs> it is the unit. <laughs> Exhaust out the bumper. I'm actually a fan. You like <laughs> it? I like it. But... <laughs> I got a, a latch on it. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Anti-lag racing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a monster. Look at the size of that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good size turbo. <laughs> you know one of those like, oh, it'll be a nice morning thing to do things. It's not morning anymore. We've taped the hood down just because we found out the latch isn't yet attached. More, more on the car soon. Yeah. Uh, but we need to now get it in. This has been a maneuver to say the least. Everyone should have a winch. Got this little wireless remote and uh, She does need a lot of push. <laughs> Welcome back to another day. I took all day basically to get this in here. And also I realized I could have turned it on, but anyway, <laughs> here it is. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really given you a proper overview of it. This is one of the things that really stood out to me is the engine bay. It is, well, it's not perfect, but it's properly done. You can see a big boy down there. I think it's almost as big as the turbo in the Skyline, actually. Not bad. It's the best bit of the car. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Like, if you look close, there's, uh, there's holes. Uh, it's, I, I never expected it to be perfect. Like I paid, I, I don't even reveal how much I paid for it. I paid the equivalent of about 5,000 pounds for this. Which is not much money at all. Like the engine itself. The engine itself is probably worth that. It's, it's probably worth So even if it's absolutely awful and will just corrode away over time, the engine looks pretty good. And it's a proper one. It's 4G63 as well. That's the thing. A lot of these, there's an Evo specialist near me. They're going to be helping us. They don't know that yet. They don't know that yet. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna find out. If you're watching, hello Auto Talk. Uh, <laughs> it's got these lights on it, which uh, I believe like aftermarket lights. The bumper's hang hanging off that side. Aftermarket. Yeah, I believe they're aftermarket. Oh, okay. There's like some nicer ones that those are. The interior. <laughs> well, that door doesn't open. Um, so that's one thing. This, I don't... <laughs> I, I don't even know 
I don't even know. I, yeah. Little things like the sunroof is kind of stuck open, which again, it's tiny. Honestly, it's really... I don't think it's that bad. So we actually looked up, the floor kind of looked up a little bit. So this is apparently quite a common thing on these cars. I searched it up and basically everyone in the Eclipse forum was like, yep, it's normal. So we were like, oh, get another one and use the frame of that, whatever. Seems like a really common thing. I Most found, people. I found the floor, you can, you can get a floor plan from the size. Oh really? This, this is a project and that's what it's for. Another big issue. These doors are gonna, uh, the doors, the, the seats are gonna go. I think the seat is fully back. Yep, it's fully back. This is with no carpet. I'm looking like at the headliner. <laughs> like, this is, my, my legs don't fit past the wheel, so that wheel's going. This is how I would drive a standard Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem, uh, one that will be solved. I think I might have to like forego rails as well, but these seats are quite chunky, so. Just cut some of the foam out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice and like the, the actual dashboard and stuff. I really like this. It's really well done. Uh, the shifter, I played around with it. It's really odd. I still don't, I don't know if it's a five speed or a six speed. So, uh, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> There's not much you know about this car, is there? No, there isn't much at all, no. That's, that's fine though. The back seats, again, probably fine. We've got door cards on them at the moment. Probably useless in every way, so they may just be taken out so I can move the seat even further back because I need it. <laughs> so exterior of the car, actually, overall not too bad. The back of it as well, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, obviously needs a repaint. This is kind of faded on the hatch. I say faded, but it's also clearly collected water on the sides. There is a full carbon hatch that I might get. We'll see. There is quite a bit. You can get like fiberglass or carbon for basically every removable panel for this car. I found a place that does it. Since it is outside, should we try and start it? It's got some E85 in there, so. God damn it! On. Okay, so <laughs> this is the aftermath. I saw <laughs> steam coming out the side there. Basically, it's spat water everywhere. In fact, the fan doesn't even work. Does it not? Yeah. I, I hear it when I turn it up, twist it on. It's just the first has got to be on. Oh, yeah. It's just come out of the overflow into this can. That's not really. Right. There's actually a Raspberry Pi in here that he used to kind of be able to bring up the, the tuning software and such. <laughs> Considering Raspberry Pis take a little bit of the time to boot and they're just awkward. This is very much like a DIY job. <laughs> I mean, all, all that loom underneath there, that is for oh, yeah. making it work. A lot to be learned about this car and also stripped out and changed. But that's the first time hearing it. So I actually sent Meadow's dad to go and look at this car for me. He got taken for a ride in it and he was like terrified of me. He's like, I'm not driving the home. And he told me it was super loud and it's very loud. It's not like normal loud where it's almost got a tone to it. It's just loud for the sake of being really loud. And obviously because that's right there. I bet his neighbors are really glad that he got rid of it. Oh, they, they, apparently they were all coming out as they were like loading it onto the trailer and stuff. <laughs> Like, what the hell is this noise? I'm sorry. It's for good cause. Oh. Oh my god. Don't want that one. Ah. Can you change something? Oh. The zoom. I, I literally do not fit. <laughs> my. I'm not gonna be able to press that properly. Like, look. Not a little clutch. Look, look, look where my foot is. Like, I can't. Take your shoes off. There we go. How is this going to drive? <laughs> Not that great, I don't think. Well, I've, this is the first time I've shifted with my right hand. I'm here, like, looking for the handbrake. God. Don't crash, it is snowing. Oh my God. No power steering? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's reverse? Oh, it does have it. To the right and down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is heavy. Should we, should we stop this? I, I don't think we should bother. I'm not going to be able to get it back in. Okay. 
Great successful first <laughs> round. Why <laughs> vibrates the whole car? I know. She's in. She actually uh, started a little bit to get up the ramp. <laughs> so yeah, we're just having a look now. There are some extra gubbins in the back. For example, we got these and a bunch of stuff. The hatch is really cool. I like that. I'm having to think about if I want to even keep these rear seats. I'm not sure they'll be very useful because you're just going to hit your head on the on the top there. All to be figured out. Um, but I haven't even mentioned about the fact that I actually bought this from a subscriber. Oh, you knew of you. I didn't know it was a subscriber. <laughs> it was a subscriber. Oh, right. He watched a lot of Need for Speed stuff. Um, he asked, it was like mid discussion. I found it on Facebook of all places because that's where most people sell their cars. I found it in Florida on Facebook Marketplace. So um, parents. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, because there was, I looked like bigger picture and there really wasn't any of these anywhere. Uh, there, there was a couple of nice ones, but again, they were so much money and I wasn't really looking for that. Basically, I messaged, when I was messaging with him, he said, oh, are you the person that doesn't need for speed videos? I was like, yes, yes I am. So <laughs> that was kind of nice because I, I, I was always a bit wary of like, I'm realistic, I'm not, I've not seen it. I didn't know anything about the person um, I was a bit wary about it, but when he mentioned that, I was like, it's kind of helpful to make me kind of realize that I'm not gonna get scammed. <laughs> and hopefully, I mean, it's here now, so that's obviously a good thing. Did you fix the door? I, I, I hit it. Does it latch? <laughs> Sorry? Does it actually latch or is it? I don't know, fine, Or is it just sat? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Put the gubbins in the door. Yeah. I think we've got time for that. Okay, now try and pull it. Okay. Is, okay, that's fine. The door works. So there you go, maybe one day I will buy your car. I won't. I need to stop. This is a problem. No, you don't. <laughs> this is a problem. How, how? Hey, can we touch cameras? <laughs> <laughs> touch tips. Touch tips. <laughs> okay. How, how are you feeling about this? I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I, I'm worried that this is uh... I thought you said it's four wheel drive. What? For God's sake. <laughs> it would have a front diff. <laughs> you looked at the front. It was like, it was like, hang on a second. Oh, that's, that's it's bad. just, it's just rear wheel drive. It doesn't look too bad. Oh my God. Oh no. What? That chassis rail was like a banana. Oh my God. <laughs> this one looks good. <laughs> it's different. This one's really good. It's not really oily. No. Uh, I'm a fan of the overflow tank. Maybe we should make one. Make a pop Yeah, pop. I think. <laughs> I think so. On the underside, majority is fine. Um, this is where the big dent in the floor is. This is actually a kind of common thing to do with the clip. I, I searched it up just to, to make sure. It looks like a four post lift is kind of sat in the places where you would imagine a four post lift goes and it's just melted it. Don't show this to the DVSA, thank you very much. Don't show it to the DVLA either. Don't show it to any of them. Don't show it to anybody. Why am I filming it? <laughs> Meadow's here, she's gonna listen to it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> because race car! <laughs> oh my god! So like, it's loud, but it's just noise. That's too loud. Oh yeah. I'm not keeping that. No, we're no, gonna, no, we're no. Gonna put, too loud. We're going to put like a muffler. <laughs> like a, the exhaust <laughs> is going to be rooted down the back and it's not going to be running on corn. <laughs> oh. What the? I didn't have any corn. <laughs> <laughs> this car did. So there we have it. My Eclipse. Quite a bit to do. Make it so it can actually run on our fuel. Make it so it doesn't pee itself. Fix the floor. Fix all the panels. That are, There's a lot to do, but it's a project car and that's what it's for. And I really just want a car that I can like after I've finished for videos of the day, go to the unit and tinker for a few hours. And eventually, she might start to look kind of like my dream eclipse. Until then, I own one, which is super sick. Maybe like one of the only three in the UK or something. That's just a number I pulled up my ass. Anyway. <laughs> it's not really worth boasting about that you've owned it though. <laughs> no, because I'm not going to be able to find anything. Everything's going to have to come from the state. It's fine. I think we'll be getting a shipping container soon. I think for so, yeah. <laughs> for both, yeah. Keep an eye on the Theo Thomas channel for extended content on this car. I love this thing, as I said. I'm going to come some nights, just tinker with it. So I'll probably film it and not really put it on this channel. It doesn't really make sense. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you in the next one. Peace.